No, you live in like a tent someplace? Yeah, I'm three. I'm close. I'll check that box. Straight, straight down, broad. There's a, a porch. Uh-huh. Okay. And someone gave you some Fetty? Yeah, man. When I do get a medic flight on her. Alright. And you've never used that before? 911, where is your emergency? I got you. Um, yes, ma'am. It's uh, 3204 West Broad Street, certified. What's going on there? A guy said he might have took some fentanyl, and he's sitting in front of my store now. Okay, is he conscious? Uh, he's conscious, but he's kind of, I don't know, he's a little funky acting. I've seen him before, so I think he might be telling the truth, but I'm not sure. Okay. Just need an ambulance to come and check him out. Get him out there. And uh, what's your name? Carl. Yes, sir. Okay. Carl. All right, Carl. We'll get you some help out there, okay? Appreciate it. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Bye. Hey, guys. The video I have to show you today is going to be an incident where a man took some Fetty, also known as fentanyl, which is an extremely potent opioid, and he was either beginning to overdose or he took a dose that was too strong for his current tolerance. Um, he realized that he was going to have a problem, so he went to a gas station, had him call 911, and then you'll see the officers respond, um, talk to him a little bit, and get the medics there. Um, I thought this was going to be an interesting one to show because this is one of those kind of quote unquote good overdose calls where the man realized he was having an issue and called for help. So in this video, you'll get to see what someone looks like when they're experiencing a high dose of an opioid and uh, you'll see the effects that it has on his body and uh, the communication that he has with the officers and medics involved. So I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you enjoy it. I'll talk to you soon. Hey buddy, how you doing? How's it going? Good, you doing alright? Almost to the ice cold plunge. Oh yeah? Somebody called in, they were concerned about you. Yeah, man, I ran for that funny shit, man. I ain't trying to die. Okay. You took some? Do you need some help? Do you need a magnet? Yeah, just to get just to get back to where I lay at to sleep. Cover up. I'm okay if I, if I can just get a ride. How, how much did you use? I'm not sure. I don't know. How often do you use that stuff? You've never used it before? Not like that, no. How long ago was it that you used it? Probably an hour. Okay, how are you feeling? Really loopy, dizzy? 153 and 154. Okay. It's starting to set in, getting cold. 153. Yeah. Well, I can have a medic come by and check you out. Where do you Eight stay? Where do you live though? You have an address somewhere? No, you live in like a tent someplace? Straight, straight down, broad. There's a, a porch. Uh huh. Well, I mean, then it got wet. So I was frustrated and just took off walk. Okay. And someone gave you some fatty? Yeah. When I do get a medic flight on her. All right. And you've never used that before? Did you snort it or what'd you do? Yeah, it was like. Hang with the wrong people, man. No, I understand. I'm just trying to help you out, man. So I'm trying to understand how much you took uh, to see if you're in any kind of danger, you know what I mean? Yeah, I just stayed away. People, yeah, no, I understand. Do you live down like on the bottoms a little bit or up on the hilltop somewhere on West Broad on a porch? Yeah, more, more towards where 
Oh, down by Warren? Okay. I might have talked to you before. Have you been staying on that porch for a while? Nah. I, no? Re, just recently since I ain't been at the house, man. It's like I argued with my family. I ain't been around them for like the last week or two. Where were you staying before that? Warren. Okay. Did your family still stay there? Yeah. Are you able to get back in sometime? How long have you been sleeping out on this couch, on this porch? A couple weeks? That's a long time. Yeah, I know it's going to be there because there's too much going on with it. Sometimes I can get out the elements, but people steal and do all that. Yeah. I would find a way to make good with my family and get back in with them, man. You don't need to be sleeping on the porch. Start getting real cold. Yeah. That sucks, man. That's pretty fucked up. Well, there's a medic that's going to come by and check you out. They're probably going to recommend, if you've never used it before, that you get checked out of the hospital. Because that stuff, I mean, it, in like two hours from now, it, you might o overdose and nobody will find you. Yeah, get with them. Right now, we're just hanging out waiting for the medic. There they are. Just hang tight. If you want to sit down, you can sit down again. What's your name, buddy? Daniel. Daniel? Bro. Can you spell your last name? I'm going to swallow water and take a breath. Mm-hmm. What's your social? Hey! Good! So this is Dan. This is Dan. He's been sleeping on a porch for a couple days, had a bad night. Ran into some friends and they gave him some Fetty and he said he's never used it before. He can tell that he's it's starting to kick in pretty good. He's been vomiting. That's what we got. Put that down. There you go. Would you take it? What time? All right, about 40 minutes or so. I just took a walk. What time? I just took a walk. Uh, I'm going to sleep in a bus stop and try to walk back. No, I was, that's why I just gloved up. Okay, Here, just keep your hands up, bud. What you got in this pocket here? Oh, uh, part cologne. Yeah. No, just just that's way everyone feels nice and safe and comfortable, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, you're good to go. Hope you guys got some puke bags. Sick, I want you to pick a mess. 
You hear me? Yeah. And they're gonna put this up into a seat, sit down, try to relax. Fine, man. You get you taken care of. Let's go back on the bunk a little bit. Let's scoot back this way about six inches. Yeah, that way your bottom's right. There you go. Get one of your arms out of your sleeve for me. Uh, yeah. Coat's all zipped up, bub. Oh, man, she ain't big straight. No, we just need one arm. I guess instead of taking off the knees, hell. there if you got an emergency, okay? Yeah. You gonna give him that or you just keep him by? Okay. Some Narcan. About to give you a little medicine. You want the rest of his shirt on? Make you open your eyes up. Not fall asleep, you, you want a shirt? The rest of it off? Yeah, Give me some help. Oh. Okay. Uh, Did you say his name was again? Uh, Daniel. Hey, Daniel. You can't be taking no damn fentanyl no more, man. shot okay you're gonna feel a pinch I don't want you to jump and have him accidentally stick himself should be feeling better really soon He walked in and told him he wasn't feeling good. Yeah. Uh, tell me what your name is for me, will you? Daniel. Daniel, what's your last name? Let's go. CR, that's what he gave me. I got a social, I haven't looked it up yet. You ready? Hey Daniel, what's your birthday? April 6th? 10th? Ten. Ten. What year? What year were you born, buddy? April 10th, nice. You're a year older than me. You 
you guys need him for anything? Or? No, I was going to do a Max Nell overdose report, but I don't need him. Okay. Uh, I mean, his vitals are good. He's going to be sleepy. Worst thing that could have happened if nobody found him is he would have quit breathing. But, yep. Uh, I think he's stable enough to where, and I'm not worried about anything. If you guys don't, if you don't need him, I think we're good to go. We'll run him down to doctors. Yep, I was just hanging out until okay. you guys were ready to cut me loose. So. All right, yeah, well, I appreciate you hanging out, man. Yep. Oh, let's see if this will work. All right, Daniel, Daniel take we're, care of yourself, Bob. take you to the hospital, okay? Bye. Alright, take care guys.